We have just finished our seventh grade year and today I want to talk about science. How do we like it? What did we use? Did I bring in supplements? Because you know I do like supplements. And was it a good fit for us? So first of all, we use Berean Builders. Well, Berean Builders is a hardback book. So I went old school and let my daughter put one of these um, paper bag covers on it and she designed it. So that is fun. I remember doing that in school and she had a blast doing it. So we will do it for hardback books again in the future because it was just a really fun thing for us to do. Let's get to the content. We did Berean Builders Science in the Atomic Age, which is what they recommend for seventh grade. This is from a Christian perspective. It is chock full of experiments. If your child loves to do experiments, then keep watching because this may be the curriculum for you. If your child or you just really do not like to do experiments, then I would just go ahead and say Berean Builders Science in the Atomic Age is probably not going to be a good fit because there are experiments and there are multiple experiments every week. Some of these require additional materials. Some of them do not. One of the best purchases that I made all year was the experiment kit for this curriculum. It just made it so easy to be able to do those experiments and we loved it. We learned so much. On top of that, the experiments themselves worked. There were very, very few experiments that we didn't get to easily work the first or second time. And that was just so awesome to be able to have those experiments that are explained well enough that they do work. So again, if you are an experiment loving family and experiment loving child, then keep watching because we'll talk about Berean Builders. If you are not, then um, I wouldn't recommend you get an an experiment heavy science curriculum like this one is. So what we have with Berean Builders, we have the textbook, then you have the answer key and test. Also, you can purchase, I did not, you can purchase a notebook that they have that is the student worksheets. And this is um, something that you can also do a PDF download and print it off, which is what I did. My daughter um, made a cover for her notebook for that. So I didn't want to purchase it and I just used the free PDF download. I did get the science notebook from School Notes Printing. I really, really liked having this. This was a great addition for us. So let's talk about how this went. First, I do have a flip through of this curriculum. So I will link that video down below if you're more interested. I go through how the curriculum set up. Um, Dr. Weil makes it so easy to be able to follow. I really appreciate that. So make sure you check out that video. It talks a lot about the experiments, about the reading, things like that. So the way we set it up and it worked really well in our homeschool is we followed mostly his schedule. So you read from the beginning of the page to wherever your comprehension check questions are and that's your reading for the day. If you see this blue box, which I knew I couldn't flip to a random page without a blue box, that's an experiment. And you're probably going to do again about two of those, maybe three of them a week on average. Now they don't take that long for, mo for the most part, they don't take that long, but they do pack a punch. So anyway, we read that and then you do your comprehension check questions, which are in this um, notebook as well as in the book. And then you move on for the day. At the end of each chapter, there is a chapter review. And so this talks about the terms that he wants you to know, as well as questions that would make you really understand the content of this chapter. So on the first day, we would just basically go over some of that information and really um, look it up if my daughter didn't know it. We would look it up in the chapter and then the second day, we really drilled in that information because that is what you need to know prior to taking your test, which is in this. So the answer key to those review questions, the tests, and then the answer key to the tests are all in this book. 
we um, finished this book in exactly 180 days it was not a chore to finish it in that amount of time when you look at the content of his book you have the scientific method and then you have the model of the atom next is elements and compounds covalent compounds chemistry and living, th living things the cells then you get into anatomy now there is quite a bit of anatomy in this and then at the end we have organisms populations and communities and then the ecosystems biomes and biospheres he concentrates on anatomy but he brings in other aspects of science so for example when you're talking about the joints in your body he's going to talk about levers and the physical science behind levers and then how those work in your body so even though he is focusing on anatomy there is much more general science to this than just um, that much anatomy it was so great to be able to see those connections where you know the levers are not just in your body they're outside and they're not just outside they're not just with a wheelbarrow they're also in your body so it was really great to be able to make those connections if you are interested in additional review videos please make sure that you are subscribed with the bell turned on because I am currently recording these review videos and I will have them out periodically throughout the summer and then we will also have our curriculum picks for eighth grade coming for the experiments we had our science notebook and he goes through at the very beginning very specifically how he wants the student to do lab reports i'm so thankful that he spent as much time on this as he did because it really helps as you move through this curriculum and i'm sure that it's going to be very helpful as we move into other science classes so what we did is for each experiment my daughter is writing the data on the experiment then she does a summary we took pictures and then she glued the pictures on the next page of her lab report and then she had her conclusion now towards the middle of the year she got tired of writing all of these out and so she asked if she would be able to type it which i was fine with that because then it helps her work on some of those typing skills she still did her we still did the pictures and everything else but i'm really thankful that we did this i love having this book together to show these experiments and again um, dr well did a great job in explaining how to do the lab reports i'm so thankful for that if you have any questions about our the science curriculum in particular please let me know down below now let's talk about these tests the tests are not long there's normally about 15 questions per test there's multiple choice short answer um, you have to write out the the definitions for the different um, terms and so it is your just general test what it does though is you have to understand this material to be able to do well on these tests it is not something where he picks up a sentence from the book and then you just have to regurgitate it you really do have to understand it there are very few questions on these tests that is not testing your comprehension of what's going on not just your memorization of the terms there are definitely memorization of terms but he tests if you understand the material versus if you can just regurgitate the material which is something that i really really like in this curriculum um also the tests are not they're not difficult but they're not easy if you understand the material then the tests will come pretty easily if you don't understand the material then uh, it's not easy and so that was one of the things that my daughter really um had to do a growing in and i like that we went from just regurgitating material to being able to truly understand explain and realize why some of these things happen and um, i'm thankful for that i loved that he did that with these tests and he did it with the comprehension check questions it is just um, really good in making sure that the student understands the material so now let's talk about supplements because i am a supplement girl i normally really like bringing in a lot of supplements I didn't need to with this curriculum in fact I didn't purchase anything else anything that I brought in were materials that we already had so we again what talks about the human body a lot 
And so we did get out our um, Body Atlas from DK, 100 Things to Know About the Human Body from Usborn, and then I had from where we did anatomy a few years ago, um, this heart model, our brain model, and then we also had Bob, which we got Bob the first time we did anatomy. He is still one of our favorites. I love 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 working with Bob because his um, parts are removable so you, you can remove the rib cage you can remove the intestines and things like that and you still get a great idea of what the different parts of the anatomy so we really liked that and again I didn't I didn't purchase any of these these were things that we had already had from before the only other supplement that I brought in was the um, periodic table flip book and my daughter loved this this she really liked we did chemistry and ecology in her sixth grade year and I purchased this for that and so we brought it back out to review but that was it if I did not have these supplements I would not have purchased them for this class we did do, um, use YouTube videos that Dr. Weil recommends which you can go on his website and find those resources which um, he has them according to the different chapters which we love those those really helped a lot those YouTube resources in, in further explaining the materials. But overall, we give Burian Builders two thumbs up. It was awesome for us in our seventh grade year. I'm so thankful we found it. I have um, one word of caution. I would not use this curriculum without purchasing the um, experiment kit that goes along with it and I will leave links to all of that below. That experiment kit, most of the information, most of the materials I would I already had at home but they were all right there together and that was awesome. There was only one time the entire year that I made an emergency trip to the grocery store and that was to buy um, red cabbage that I had forgotten I needed for the experiment that was coming up the next day. But one time the whole year is a win for me. I am just so thankful that for that kit, everything was right there and we could easily do those experiments.